a glass of milk can reduce PMS and improve cramping and symptoms like nausea and vomiting during menstruation. But there's a trick and I will tell you what it is. As estrogen levels increase, first right before ovulation and then in the mid luteal phase, that causes a decrease in calcium, especially the calcium inside our cells. That causes the parathyroid gland to secrete more parathyroid hormone, which helps to move calcium from outside of the cells to inside of the cells. The problem is when there is not enough calcium. High parathyroid hormone, low calcium, complicated biochemistry, do 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 abnormalities in the synthesis and release of serotonin. Then when estrogen levels drop the week or so before your period, serotonin also dive bombs. And that's what's behind the symptoms of PMS. Not just mood and energy levels, but also things like sleep quality, appetite, addictive behaviors, even GI symptoms. And not only do studies show that females who uh, consume more calcium in their day-to-day -day diet have less PMS, just upping calcium intake to 1200 or 1300 milligrams per day, and this is half of the trick because we mean every single day, that can reduce PMS symptom severity by half in as little as three cycles. And a glass of milk has about 300 milligrams of calcium. A cup of yogurt has about 450 milligrams. Excellent non-dairy sources of calcium include canned fish with bones like canned salmon or canned sardines and molasses. Why not just reach for a calcium supplement? Two reasons. First is that overdoing it with a calcium supplement increases risk of kidney stones. And second, calcium isn't the only nutrient that reduces PMS. And when you take a food-based approach to getting all of the nutrients your body needs, what I call Nutrivore, then you've got all your nutritional bases covered. And if you want to learn more about the link between calcium and PMS or the other nutrients that can help, then go check out my book, Nutrivore. It's all in there.